So, our discussion continues. All right, so the NBA is going to have to take a little breaky break while we still talk about BAL. That's BAL. All right, so there's a lot that happened between the time I made the video talking about why does BAL, B-A-L, continue to communicate with people using two languages, meaning English and French. Well, we all understand that the NBA itself, its default language or its native language or its language of usage is English. So I asked the question, why are we using French in Africa? And of course, that sparked its own conversation. Francophone. It's areas where French or France dominated now. French is spoken as the national language or as the first language. And then there's Anglophone where people speak English and all that. I've had people come and attack me and tell me that I do not understand anything about Francophone. And Francophone supposedly dominates Africa in general. And it's all about French speaking countries and everything. Well, this is exactly what happened back in them days when we talk of colonialism, it's divide and conquer. And that's what's happening right now. We are dividing ourselves. I mean, I do understand language enhances, uh, uh, um, enha develops and enhances ideas, specifically when it comes to economic development and also a sense of pride and everything. So I can understand why people will, oh, my language is better than your language. We use this. So you guys are just talking about French because you guys speak English. And I am speaking English right now. I understand. But my, my discussion was not about, okay, so let's speak English because I speak English. I don't care for French. No, that was not the case. What I was talking about is exactly that. Language enhances so much in terms of what it can do for you. People love it. People enjoy it when you go somewhere and somebody can speak your native tongue or your mother tongue or anything like that. And then in addition to that, that's our business and economic development and all that, like what I talked about. You know, it all goes hand in hand. You've come to find out that a lot of countries that actually dominated or colonized other countries, what they did was in order to disrupt that culture and all that, they taught languages and all that made the native speakers or indigenous people speak their languages and all that. This is one way for them to assimilate, meaning the indigenous people assimilate. And this is why this is such a hot topic right here. Why, why, and why? Why us Africans are fighting over English or French and all that? Why not use one of the most widely spoken languages, African languages, which is Swahili? We already have it. There are more people that speak Swahili than French. All right, but we do understand that the NBA comes with its own culture. That's the whole point. When you buy a product, it comes with its own culture. That's why I was saying it's okay for them to use English, but it's okay. It's really up to us Africans. It's really up to us. When the NBA goes to China, you know what happens? Means of communication, Chinese and all that. It's important. It is really important why or what language we use because it has so much implications. This is one tool that we have that's gonna go across Africa. Why not utilize it to unify Africa? 16% trade in Africa, do you understand that? Imagine if we all come together and actually use a unified language. Swahili is a unified language. This is a trade language, Swahili is a trade language. So it's not like we're empowering like one group of people or something like that. This is the most, the biggest, the widely spoken language in Africa. That's the only reason I was bringing that up. So instead of us fighting over English, French and all that, oh, you're Anglophone, I'm Francophone or something like that. Why not unify? Why not come together? Why not use a unified language, which is one of our own? Trade is already 16%. We don't need to be fighting against one another. Do you understand that? All right, here is a tool that we are given to utilize, all right? It's bringing us together. They're using their money, but we can use it to our advantage. And what I'm saying is use it to unify us. Oh yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos and uh, write something down there, write anything. You know, just write a comment, say something, tell me what you thought. Ask me for money, just write something down there. Not like I'm gonna send you the money, but just write something. Go ahead, right there, yeah. That's right, thank you.